I'd like to show you now my tenoning jig, which um, has been designed to make it easy to cut pretty much perfect tenons. Uh, the way the jig functions is we've got a slot here for the saw. We've got the Delrin or, or ultra high molecular weight guides down here and the spine of the saw is captured um, in this slot. We've got about two thousandths of an inch of play so I can move this back and forth with just a little bit of friction and yet the saw is confined to going straight down as it cuts into the work. When cutting a, a mortise and tendon, it's important to reference off of one side instead of just cutting a piece and then flipping it around. And the way to do that the best is to offset one cut from the other. In this case, I've got a spacer that can attach to the jig like this and I can make my first cut. And then for the second cut, I will remove the spacer and make the second cut. The spacer is designed to be the thickness of the tenon that I want plus the thickness of the saw's kerf. And then those two in combination mean that when I make the two cuts, they will be exactly where they need to be. So one way to cut the shoulders is to use Chris Schwartz's method and I clamp a guide block over my scribe line for the shoulder and then I'll use uh, a flush trim saw. This is the Kugihiki that Lee Valley and others sell and just saw down directly next to this. This saw has no set and so I can do this right next to the line. And that leaves a very clean cut on the shoulder here and you get a sense of how clean the cheeks wind up being.